Like there aren't, there aren't special people that are called. We are all called. And you can go into Romans and you can see like that's very clear. In Ephesians, same thing. Paul makes it very clear. God clarifies to us that we are all called because God wants to use us. So he says, For consider your calling, brothers. Not many of you were wise according to worldly standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. But God chose what is foolish in the world to shame the wise. God chose what is weak in the world to shame the strong. You see, if you use the wisest people, if you use the strongest people, then guess who gets the glory? They do. If you use the most eloquent people, guess who gets the glory? They do. But what does God want? Us to glorify him. That's why he does this. That's why he uses ordinary people. That's why he uses sinful, rebellious, messy people like us. And he says, hey, why don't you go tell people about who I am? And you're like, uh, I'm not the most qualified to do this. And he goes, you just, you're called. Go. Go. It says, God chose what is low and despised in the world, even things that are not to bring to nothing things that are, so that no human being might boast in the presence of God. This is why he does this. He wants to remind us, he wants to show us and tell us how powerful he is. He's like, look at this, I'm going to go grab some shepherds and watch what I do through them. Why? Why? I can tell you, guess who did not go rolling back into Jerusalem bragging and boasting about their education or anything that they had done? What are the shepherds going to go back and do? They're just, <laughs> they're going to tell the story? And you're like, you wouldn't believe what happened. And probably people are going to be like, I don't believe you. That, that's how God does this. That's how he works. So here's, 